Hi there, this is Karen. I'm with inspiredbygram.com. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a simple Stamping Sunday card. It uses the Pretty Perennials stamp set and that can be found in the mini catalog from Stampin' Up. This is the January to June 2021. It's on page 31 and it actually comes as a bundle and you can save 10% um, by purchasing the bundle and you would receive the stamp set plus um, the dies here. So I do have, of course I've got the stamp set here and I did save my 10% um, by ordering the dies um, together. So it's a great um, deal when you do order the bundles together and you save your 10%. Um, so I kind of saw this card here and I was gonna try to remake it a little bit. Um, my focal point here is much different than the one that's in the, the mini catalog but I'm just gonna bring you a version of my Simple Stamping Sunday card. So let me put that aside. And I've designed it here with, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different ink colors. That's the inside. Let me show you my color palette. I have a couple of the old ink pads, um, but I'm using Pool Party, Melon Mambo, Soft Suede, Mango Melody, and Granny Apple Green. I've got 10 different stamps off to my side here, all mounted on some um, A blocks and C blocks and D blocks. Okay, so we are gonna get stamping together. Since we are stamping with photopolymer, we'll need our Stampin' Pure Smat and a piece of scrap paper. I've cut, die cut two stitch rectangles, one in Whisper White and one in Granny Apple Green, and I used um, the stitched rectangles and these kind of um, layer really nicely together. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna stamp happy onto this um, small piece of white cardstock. I'm using the Melon Mambo ink to do that. And let me just ink up my stamp here that says happy. Now this is gonna get cut off a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so that's looking okay. And um, if you notice on die cuts that are um, got the edging on here, you need to make sure that you're stamping on the smooth side versus the rough side. All right, so now we are going to stamp You Make Me on a piece of Melon Mambo, and I'm going tone on tone. So I'm just gonna stamp this right down here. We're going to punch it out with a classic label punch in a little bit. All right, so now when you're creating um, your um, image here, we can call that your designer series paper, um, you wanna start with the largest image first, and I've got this little um, perennial flower here, and I'm just gonna stamp three. Remember, odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye than even. And I'm gonna stamp one off to the side here, and then I'm gonna stamp one right down here. So we've got the biggest bold um, color first, and now we're gonna work down um, to this one here. This one I'm going to stamp in ma uh, Mango Melody. And we'll just open that case up and put some ink on our block. And it really doesn't matter where you stamp, you know, most of this area here is going to be um, covered with that um, sentiment. So I'm just gonna add a few off to the side, and this the, no card's gonna look the same, that's for sure. All right, so then the next one I want to use is this little, let's see, that's kind of a, uh, what do I wanna call it, <laughs> foliage. Um, and I'm using Granny Apple Green. And let's just add it going this way. Again, this area here, depending on where we're gonna put our sentiment, is going to be um, covered up. So I'm just going to kind of aim a few down and around and call it good. So now the last image we want to stamp is this one right here. Um, so I'm going to stamp the little stem in soft suede ink. And the, the white cardstock that I am stamping on is actually cut three and three quarters by five. So I'm gonna stamp this one right down here as an angle. 
and then let's stamp one right let's see I gotta think a little bit where this is gonna land let's go like right here and then I'm gonna stamp uh, let's go this way all right so now we are going to take pool party ink and we're gonna add those little flowers or um, I'm not really sure what they're called um, but I'm just gonna hover over hopefully I can get this close enough and um, this card here allows you to, to learn a couple different um, stamping techniques so I'm doing kind of like a two-step stamping where I've added the stems and then I'm adding something on top of it so um, this is kind of a good card to learn how to stamp um, I think we're good with that outline now we need to add the centers um, I've got soft suede again and I'm just gonna add this really larger um, like I guess this is the buds of the flower to that mel uh, melon mambo color and then there's another small image that I'm going to ink up again in soft suede and add it to the uh, melon mambo. The other card I used um, granny apple green for the center you can use whatever works for you. All right so I think that looks pretty good. <clears throat> now on the inside of your uh, card you'll need to, because you've got a dark um, cardstock you're going to want some whisper white or some basic white whatever that you have in your craft room and I'm just going to stamp that bigger flower again in melon mambo then I'm going to stamp the other one here in um, mango melody and then the other one I'm going to actually let's just do i'm going to do a little bit different i'm going to add two of those little yellow flowers because i like them so much all right and then we're just going to repeat the step to add the middle again with soft suede ink um i think i just misplaced there it is way over there um, the center there all right so we've got some looking like this um, I did not add some leaves, so I'm going to go back in. There is a leaf um, stamp, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of those leaves to the flowers here. And there is a right and a wrong way on this stamp, so make sure you have it going the correct way. I'm going to stamp off, and then I'm going to stamp on for a, just a, a kind of a lighter green. And then let me just put one right down here. All right, so I think I've got everything all stamped the way I want it. And let me just move over these, all these ink pads here. We're going to assemble the card next. So I've got my card base is melon, um, oh my goodness, melon mambo. Okay, I'm not gonna do another card that has ink colors that are like, so close to another because that's really hard to say so I have um, cut that melon mambo eight and a half by five and a half and I've already pre-scored it at five and a uh, four and a quarter I'm layering this white um, panel onto a piece of granny apple green and that is cut um, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and again the white is cut three and three quarters by five and I'm gonna add this panel onto the Melon Mambo, just like that. I like this um, dimension of uh, measurements because you get more of that Melon Mambo appearing on the outer edge. And now we've got our stitch rectangle and we've got the happy. So I'm just gonna add um, some stamp and seal to the back side of that sentiment label. And I'm going to flip it over and press from the back side. And then we're going to layer that right onto um, the card front. And then I'm just going to, before I kind of place it, I've got a little bit of a gap here that shows and over here as well. If you don't like that, you'll just need to trim down the um, white and the granny apple green to something different. But I don't, I don't mind it showing. 
All right, so we're getting there. The last thing we need to do is we need to um, take our classic label punch and punch out the, our little um, sentiment, you make me. To do that, I'm just letting the cardstock into the track of the classic label punch, and I'm looking to make sure it's straight, and then I'm gonna just squeeze that punch, and out comes our sentiment. So this one will need some kind of dimension. You need it to have it raised up. You don't want it flush with the other ones because it's gonna get lost. So I'm just gonna add a couple mini dimensionals to the back side. Then I'll press them in the center and peel them off, that, the backing there. Okay, and then we're gonna flip this back over and I'm gonna layer this right on top of that stitch rectangle. And that looks really fun with that popped up sentiment. Then the final touch is we're going to add some of the rhinestones to the card. And these are the basic rhinestone jewels. I'm gonna use the take your pick tool and I'm just gonna scatter about five throughout the card. And I'm placing them in the white areas here that kind of needs a little bit of something. So that's one, two, three. Uh, let's put one over here, four, and let's put one right there. So that's five. All right, so that's your simple stamping Sunday card. Let's take a look at both of them side by side. As you can see, um, this one right here, the Melon Mamba really got hidden by that panel. So you never really know what you're gonna get. Um, when you're just stamping away and having a great time. So for all your Stampin' Up! needs, you can visit me at inspiredbygram.com and make sure with your product order of $35 or more, you use my uh, monthly host code and this one runs until January 31st, 2021. Again, that website is inspiredbygram.com. Thanks for watching.